How are you doing and how have you been? This is Tazastical. This is Rimworld. This is Perkins' Icy Kingdom. And what could go wrong today? I mean, not a lot could go right, but you never know, party people. With Randy Random on this difficulty, you never know what we're going to get hit with. Plan number one, we're opening this door. Because this is our best defense, being able to sit in here and cower behind our barricades. Now, it does create an issue because obviously we need to watch our wind turbines, but that still is our best defense. The wind turbines being up make, means hopefully we can start switching everything on. The problem is our kill box is pretty much non-existent. In these temperatures, it's even worse. Um, I was thinking, but like, if, it, if this water wasn't here, I would open these doors and have the AI like come through this way. Well, this is still going to be our best. How are the batteries holding up? So they are charging, so that's fine. We might um, actually treat ourselves to another battery. Because I don't know how the wind turbines are going to do at night. You know, I'd like to think they could hold up, but we don't really know. With the machining table, we need to put Shred Mechanoid up near the top. Because that's going to get us our steel. And steel is going to get us our components through the fabrication bench. So then hopefully we can start to become or get a steady flow. Now, we do need to get the kill box up sooner rather than later. However, we do have toxic fallout with some people have built up. We've got hyperthermia. I mean, we've got hyperthermia everywhere, really. Merlin has a peg leg. I forgot that. So Perkins is the only one with toxic build up. Uh, we will need to let that drop and then we will need to fix this. Kill box. We're going to do the same thing we've done before where we stick one melee person like here. But we're going to have to edit this a little bit and block this off. Like, we've, we've got some things to do. We've got some things to do. That's for sure. We've neglected our kill box a lot in all honesty. And to be fair, the problem is, is the first attack we're going to get, the wind turbines are going to come in and destroy us. Oh, sorry, the, the, you know, they're going to come in and destroy the wind turbine straight away. Colonist needs rescuing. Colonist got rescuing. Let's edit the zone. Are we in hide inside? Yeah, not really sure. I think they were building the turrets. But hide inside. You can't really come out. I don't really want you in the hallways outside, let alone. Because this is where we're getting very cold and we can't even go out. Now, I know we should be picking up clothes from other people, but let's be honest, the only person that deserves to go out is Perkins. So, come on, party people. This series is all about her. Right, there we go. So, let's get indoors. Like, the hallway's cold. It's, like, minus 30, but we can roughly deal with that. Outside, outside is minus 47. So, there is a little difference, but we need to hold this door open. And then I'm, hold I'm hoping, in doing so... It's going to lead the game to just, like send more human attacks at us because you know, while our food situation, you know, we've got the hydroponics there. They're working. They're only just about working, though. That's the problem. And it's not allowing us because we were building cloth along this line. We sort of just have to go with three rows of rice at the moment. Otherwise, we're not going to be rice. Nice. I've got rice on the brain. Right, luckily, we've got lots of power to be able to turn stuff on, which is actually really good to see. Um, have we got any human lever saved, or is that... No. Didn't know if there was a bit left over. But I'm obviously misremembering, sadly. Okay. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Tail. Um... Well, we haven't actually got any weapons. Why have you got that? Merlin, you've got a shield belt. Why have Tail picked that up? No idea. There's Tail in. No, you're not incapable of violence or anything. Okay. Um, so then what is there to be said about the colony? Research-wise, we're going down advanced fabrication to get advanced components. 
other than that, we're just trying to hold out through winter. This has probably been the roughest because we weren't able to stockpile as much as we would like. Like, we need to get, like, scanning going. I'm just trying to think, is there any more tasks we could really set up? Like, currently, not really. I'm glad we got the wind turbines up. I do think that was a good decision. Like, the power problem has dissipated straight away. Obviously, we do need to defend our wind turbines. We can see the area, so we will have to, like, wall them off over here. But I would like Randy to leave us alone, but... I understand that's more hopeful thinking than anything else. What's going on with our infinite? It produces chemical very, very, very slowly, but in a colony where we're not producing any anyway, we can't really then look at that and like... So we're just... Okay, it's because we're destroying bad weapons, aren't we? I don't think we do that. I think anything under normal we destroy. Because, yeah. With us... I think we keep anything normal to legendary. While it, while I did like the idea of it. And I think we should go for normal at least. I just don't think we can... Um, yeah, I don't think we can waste resources as willy-nilly as that. That's probably a bit too silly. So we'll just keep everything normal. If it's normal, it's good. It's a shame you can't build, like, flak vests and flak pants out of certain uh, resources. What are you getting rid of? You're getting rid of a normal... Oh, it's because, yeah, yeah, I need to change it in here. Sorry. Smelt weapon. Oh, where's the other... Smelt weapon. Awful to pour, get rid of. Destroy weapon. I'm looking for the apparel one. Because obviously we were destroying everything. Um... No, I think that's everything. Okay. There we go. And then tail, at your earliest convenient, shift... Equipped the SMG. I think anything that's poor and awful, yeah, do get rid of. I'm cool with wasting the resources in that respect. But actually, we don't have the sort of resources to then just be throwing away like that. Because that is crazy. A trader changes our game. If we were able to sell these um, human leather parkers. Because a lot of them are very, very good quality. Like all these excellent, good, 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 good. Normal, good, good, excellent, normal. So it's really, really good on that um, front. Like, and considering we don't have... Oh no, Vass is double passion. A granite meteor ore. Okay, it doesn't really do anything for us. Eight minutes in and Randy hasn't done anything. Maybe he might leave us alone for a couple of episodes. Like, would be good. Minus 49 outside, about midway through December. Obviously, our coldest, coldest month. Well, there's not really too much we can do, in all honesty. Maybe we can set up some art projects as well. What are we making them out of? Just remind me. Sandstone. So we do have some sandstone. So let's do that. We might as well put people to work. It's a bit silly us not trying our best, I suppose. I mean, the good thing is at least the colony's kept all clean and whatnot, but I would much prefer to be able to get some solid progress, but it sort of is what it is. Vaz is making components, so we are getting them in, obviously. We're just not getting the levels of steel into the colony that we need. Oh, I just want to start building. This toxic fallout has lasted. How long has it lasted? Oh, I was a panic then thinking, please don't say it's like a toxic spewer or something that I haven't paid attention to. I think I would cry. Yeah, Vass is making components. That's actually really nice, so. Said so we just need the temperatures to drop just a little bit more. What resources do we have? We have wolf skin. 
What's that one? Bearskin. So, just for a laugh, add Bill, um, Parker's. Because right, bear skin sounds like it should like be able to like levers bear skin. Well, I want to see what it does. So human leather. Obviously, human leather gives us a big boost, but we might have to. While it's funny for like the content, like Perkins is the only one allowed in the cold. Like Jesus, does it cripple us? Um. Cold insulation, 24. Let's change that to bearskin, 40. Do, 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 do. Looks like we're making some bearskin. If that goes well, we could actually make two. Like, what is the boost we get through wearing? So we get a plus four from wearing our... Mm, do we need it? Do we need it? Right, Vaz is getting on that, so we love that. Maybe that's where we go. We need to go down this avenue. Bearskin's really, really good. Plus, I've never really seen it much before because I don't really have much bearskin. Vaz has gotten food poisoning from the rice. I mean, it's bound to happen. Problem is, we just can't keep up with Perkins. I don't really want you cooking anymore, in all honesty. Thank you. Um, actually, I will have you cooking, because otherwise you're not going to do anything, and our other cook is asleep, so. Probably makes sense. Try and avoid food poisoning as much as possible. Obviously, easier said than done. Well, we're having a laugh in our starvation base, that's for sure. What's the temperatures outside? Minus 49. We're getting to more acceptable temperatures, funny enough. I panic them thinking, whoa, chunks of spaceship. Oh, right on our doorstep. Starvation. I mean, we have got food, so. Um, How's our tailor getting on? Vaz, what are you doing? You've got food poisoning, so you're moping about and throwing up on your dinner. Not great. Okay, manhunter pack. 42 wolves. Shame it went a little bit less. It's really good at wolf skin. That would have been very, very good. I mean, we have to shut this and hope they don't attack our power. And then we will just double check our hide inside zone. Let's make sure we're not going out. Right, and everyone's hide inside. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. I'm mean, really good to get some wolf skin and stuff like that. I think we'll have to do, like, human undergarments. It's funny that they go in here. Why would they not go around? I don't know. Just interesting to see why the AI does stuff. Okay. Well, I mean, we keep rocking and rolling, so that's a good thing. And actually, we are might actually get this research done this episode, which would be good. Because then we still, we still keep moving and a-grooving. With us getting rid of these solar panels, this will probably be where our medical bay is down the line. But to be fair, we are going to need to expand our hydroponics up here as well. So maybe it's just hydroponics. And maybe we expand the bedrooms up this way, but let's be honest, let's say uh, while down the line, cargo pods, masks. Um, okay. Did we get a... No. I think because the Vaz has got all that food poisoning, it's just making that a little bit tricky. But that's fine. Alright, we're getting meals, so at least then 
with the cooked meals, we're less likely to get food poisoning, especially with how clean everything is. We should be okay. Um, some flooring at some point might be decent, but when that happens, I have no idea. Let's be honest, that's a um, long while away at this point. So I was planning on when we had like leftover cloth to be able to do that. A of sculptures been done. A little bit of beauty. Just seeing if they're getting the... The environment. So we're getting plus five. Problem is, is some of these statues aren't very good. Some of them are excellent, but... Let me make another statue. Might as well put everyone to work. Not really too much we can do at the moment. Chemfuel got produced. Nice. So Perkins, have you put that into your... So you did refuel some of your ke um, some of your jetpack, but not all of it. Okay. So it's every 10 days or so we get some free chemfuel. I mean... Like we said, we don't have any chemfuel to speak of. So the fact that we are able to refuel the jetpack jet packs every now and then... Actually isn't too bad. I'm glad we got these wind turbines up before we had like a problem like this. Because the problem is we open this door here. They will just run around here. We are going to fix this kill box. I don't like it. And with my experience within this game getting a little bit more and more each time. I'm learning sort of what the best way to do stuff is. And standing here and firing just doesn't work. I did initially think these were blocking the wind turbines but not. Meteorite of gold ore. Randy's being very kind to us this episode. So Vaz put on the bearskin parka. So there we still have the human leather pants and the human leather button shirt. And then, so yeah, so minus 40 you can go out now. So you could probably go out in minus 56 and actually be okay. Right, then another one is done. Perkins, 48. Who, I'm just seeing who the lowest is. It looks like Tail. Ronnie's okay. So we might just have to start making like mix match. Right, so Tail can get that one. Okay, we do have some plain leather. I don't know if that's actually any good, but we will have another look. So we will compare it to human leather because that's what we're having at the minute. So 24. Then we will go to exactly the same. Have we got anything else sitting around or is it just their materials? Light leather, plain leather. I don't, would there be much difference? I mean, literally no harm in checking, I guess. can plain leather not even do it. 32. I mean, let's make some because it is... I can make two. I mean, it is an in it's sort of better. Not by much, but it is sort of. What about cloth? Maybe we make some cloth. It's not better, but it'll just allow us to cope a little. It's not better, but it is. Do you know what I mean? Like the, It's very small margins, but the margins will help us. It will give us another day or two out. So until we get better stuff. Like it's been funny allowing Perkins, the only one that can go out in the cold. But yeah, the colony gets crippled in winter. So we'll do that. We're learning from our mistakes. Stuff that's funny is also painful. <laughs> Just thinking, we could open this up and this could be like our burn box. Like deconstruct this, fill it with wood. And we could burn it when they come through this. At least, like, humans would get toasted. It's probably a good design for that. 
And then like this bit, we could literally just like wall off, wall off, make a single path. And then have our shooters here, because I think is what we're going to do. We will have to make it enclosed though, because if we have to always assume that we're going to have um, a fight in winter. We have got a cloth parker here, so let's start where cloth parker, and let's pour muffalo wool. That's below the sheep wool. Remind me. Oh, that's quite good. Merlin can have the sheep wool. And what else have we got? We've got some muffalo wool, but I think we need like 80 resources. So let's get people in warmer stuff. But we'll still keep, obviously, the human leather pants, the human leather um, shirt, because it does give us a boost. And it'd be a shame to lose that boost, in all honesty. So temperature-wise, we're checking gear. So minus 48. Minus 25. That's not great. I suppose I think that was still better than what you were at. Minus 40. Minus 35. What's the difference? Twenty nine, twenty. Advanced fabrication is done. Nice. Okay, so we're starting to be able to withstand cold, cold temperatures. Research wise, that's interesting. What we want to go into. We're going to um, research mini guns because especially with how we are defending at the moment, very short ranged. I found like mini guns are actually like super, super underrated for like what we're doing. Like Beasley can have the alpha or the plain leather Parker. And then it's just Kenneth to sort out. Mega Sloth. Oh, the Mega Sloth one's quite well. That was the one um, Ronnie was wearing. So there we go. Now if we look at the temperatures, everyone can actually, or hopefully, so minus 48. Okay, 25 isn't great. 40, 35, 61, 26, 44. Okay, so it's becoming better. It's becoming better. Cool. Happy with that. Obviously, we are just a mix match to people, but uh, we do need to keep remembering. Because I'm just terrible at it. Oh, Ronnie's asleep, but we do need to make sure we keep trying to convert Ronnie to our way of thinking. Although Ronnie's mood is actually held up pretty nicely. Just waiting for Ronnie to wake up. And then we will try and convert. We would. This is obviously going to be a very, very slow process, but... Got to keep doing it. Certainty now down to 48%. Not too shabby, I suppose. Oh, we have got some human leather, just not much of it. All right, the wolves are making their way out. Just checking wildlife. I can see all the ones in the red. Perkins tried to convert Ronnie, so it's gone down a little bit more. Nothing too crazy, though. I mean, why would anyone want to change to our ideology while all this is going on is... Beyond me, but it is what it is. It is what it is. What is the temperature outside? Minus 39. So once these go, we should... Minus 39. 48. Yoko's going to struggle a little bit. Yeah, Yoko and Beasley are going to struggle. Everyone else should be pretty good. High Psychic Drone is not what we need. Uh, what we do probably need to do, now we're getting out of this, is actually... Did we? No, we didn't mark any steel on the map. Let's mine a big bit of steel. So we've got that steel over here. We're going to come down here and mine this steel. The reason why we're going to do this is because... I don't know, there's no real logic to it in all honesty, but I suppose let's get all the ones down here fast. It's semi-close. we got this to deconstruct. Insulting spree, that's because of the high psychic drone. Not too much we can do about that. Yeah, we're going to have a few breakdowns now. That has pushed us over the edge. Sadly. 
Um, this statue here, very good beauty. We will chuck that. Oh, probably in your bedroom. You haven't got one. There we go. So we'll have to, have to ride through some of these breakdowns. We're going to get some mini guns, and I'm probably going to build a couple. Because I actually think they're going to do bits with, like, a small, compact defense. That's the idea anyway. Like, Tail is literally just, like, shouting abuse. Like, ah, researchers, work harder, work harder. Now, I, th I think Tail's probably being a little bit more harsh than just work harder. But, you know, the boys and girls, they're still researching. They're still living the dream. They want their miniguns. They just want that pure, gutsy fire at their hands. Something like that. Yeah, a very strong episode with progression. Mainly because we've progressed... Oh, I'm saying that, it's minus 50 again. I thought we were getting through the worst of it. Because towards the end of December, it does start to drop. And actually, minus 51 has dropped from, you know, the minus 60s and 70s that we can push. I wish there was a chance to, like, get, like, a soft winter. Like, oh, this winter is a bit more warmer than normal or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't actually add anything. There we go. All the breakdowns, all the breakdowns. It's just because of the negatives that we're getting. We're getting a minus 30. And if we were eating human meat... It probably wouldn't be a problem. Psychic Drone is ending perfect. That's perfect because it's going to set up next episode for us just to clang and bang and clang and bang and just like go for it. Can I arrest people when they're like this? I might have to try it like... um. On another series, because I don't want to arrest them and it turns them into a prisoner and then I've got to recruit them. No, I want, I just want to, I want like a timeout option, like put them in a timeout. They've been a bit naughty. They've been a silly goose. They need to learn from their negative ways. Just give them a timeout for a couple of minutes. That's all we want. Little timeout for the squad. But, well, the social fight kicked him out of it, so that's pretty... Pretty nice. Temperatures outside. Minus 36. Okay, we're all injured and bruised now. Perfect. Yeah, the rice is just about keeping us alive. Checking the temperature outside. Looks like in the day we're decent. I'd like to make sure everyone's okay before we start going out. I don't want them to go out. With health issues started. Extreme break risk. Yoko. Is there anything I can do about that? What is this chancel of life that I'm just ignoring? What? Du, 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 du. It's a large altar. Remind me what it is. Oh my god, you want a lot of bricks. Okay, so we need a ritual room. Means this is all going to be... Maybe we build the ritual room. We might have to expand this and maybe build it down here. Move our, our wall. I mean, it's not the reason why we're breaking down, but it's... Uh, Okay. Okay. Yoko's just having a lie down for a couple of episodes. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I might just square this off. Bring this up here. Build more bedrooms over here. And then the problem is we need to get the altar room up sooner rather than later. And I don't really want to mine into this mountain. Because I don't really want to have to play with infestations in all honesty. That sort of, I'm just being a bit um, nervous Nelly about stuff, in all honesty. Right, if we can get miniguns done this episode, we can say we've achieved the minigun. And we can actually queue up two to be built. And then we're pretty much laughing. Ha ha ha, we're laughing, buddy people. Two miniguns and our type of defence, trust me, it's going to shred. 
I've learned from the errors of my ways and learned how good miniguns are. There we go. Like, tell me, tell me they need like a sick amount of resources, like something that's going to make me be sick in my mouth. Like, oh, look at that tiny components. <laughs> oh god, that doesn't make me sick. That makes me cry inside. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's minus. 45, need another research project. Never ever use transport pods. I wonder if it's something we should use, especially in this colony, because especially with the cold conditions and traveling, it's going to be pretty tragic. But if we can cut out, like, I don't know if it's like instantaneously. But we've got a lot around us that we can sort of do. But the travel time is just going to cripple us, though. That's the problem. Food for thought. Yeah, I'm not really sure. We're going to have to think about this. Like gun links could be cool, but then that's pretty risky. Maybe just go down to recon armor. Something we're going to have to think about. Something I'm going to have to ponder about, party people, because the colony is actually going well, surprisingly enough. If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Me and Perkins will catch you next time, party people. Bye.